Hello, beautiful humans. Do you guys say hi to me? This is Billy. <laughs> and this is Nindu. <laughs> Billy is my favorite. Billy the squid. Hello again. Just got home from the gym. I haven't vlogged in so long, this feels weird. I had every intention on vlogging in France, but too many days went by that I kept forgetting to pick up the camera and filming everything on my phone and taking pictures and taking videos. It's just so much content for one person and really wanted to like live in the moment as much as possible. So didn't vlog that trip. Apologies, because I really wanted to and I love travel vlogs. So this is my first workout back. Did like a little light full body workout because tomorrow I am getting back on a plane and going to North Carolina, Charlotte, to visit my best friend and her baby and her husband. I have not seen them in a very long time. So I'm really excited. I don't know if I'll make it there because of all the flight cancellations, but you know, we're gonna try. I had a protein bar before my workout. It is 11. I have therapy at noon. John made a smoothie, so I'm gonna get some smoothie and grab a cup. Of yum. He does pretty much like the same smoothie every day, just like different fruits, but we have Garden of Life, plant protein, sport plant protein. Yeah, but here is my post-workout smoothie. You know what? Let's go start packing for this trip. Maybe we have some chit-chat time while I pack. Well, I'm just walking by the house, but packing's probably gonna have to wait till after therapy because laundry and I started a load downstairs because Lulu peed on bed. I don't know why she does this. I literally it's driving me absolutely insane. Alright anyways let me just do some folding and hanging and then I'm gonna go therapy. And then I'll pack. Therapy. Finished my smoothie. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Anyways, finished my smoothie while in therapy. I had two of these and realized that I forgot to drink coffee this morning because I'm out of espresso pods, so I haven't been able to no excuse me um, i haven't been able to make my drink that i usually have so i've been having hot coffee with some creamer and brown sugar and cinnamon which is good but i just don't it's just hard for me to drink hot coffee but anyways i'm gonna go have some because i'm starting to get a headache because i'm addicted and then it's gonna be time to pack i just realized that i have these like little sample pods I don't think I've made my coffee drink on here. It's basically Starbucks brown sugar shaken espresso, but my version, and I genuinely think it might taste better because it's like real brown sugar and not like the syrup that they use. I got this Nespresso in November, and I genuinely think I've only been to Starbucks like no more than five times. Yeah, for coffee at least. So we're gonna make our espresso in this little mug and get some ice in this mug and get some oat milk okay i'll put the recipe in the description box but then i'm gonna do two tisps of brown sugar mix it with the hot espresso and then technically they, they pour them and they shake them together to get like more frothy, but this is enough froth for me. Top with some cinnamon, probably could have put more oat milk in this. And voila. Also, I'm just realizing that not one time in France did anybody tell us bon appetit. And I feel kind of like cheated out of the whole French experience. <laughs> no, that's probably because they don't say it anyways. Cheers and probably lunch soon because it is 1.50. We have been getting Factor 75 meal, or not, they're not called that anymore, it's just Factor. They're really convenient and John is a very picky 
like not picky, but he's a really good cook, so he's high standards. Yeah, he likes them, and we didn't get them this week because some of them looked good. So he's cooking enchiladas tonight, but I don't have anything for lunch right now. I have pad thai I ordered the other day. Never mind. Forgot to show you my food. It looks horrible, but it's pretty good. It's from Thailand if you're in the area. Well, I think about an hour has gone by. I hung out with um, my friend Mary Jane, forgot I had coffee, drinking watered down coffee, and I'm going to try and pack in a only a carry-on for the first time in a really long time. I think the last time I did this, I forgot like pajamas, um, just really crucial basic things. So let's see how this goes. Toiletries are the thing that get me the most. But I don't think I'm gonna be wearing a lot of makeup while we're here. Like, we'll probably go out to dinner, but just casual and really just going to spend time with my best friend that I haven't seen in literally like almost a year. Oh, I don't think I've shown my closet on YouTube. Although, I gotta go back. It'll be more dramatic. <gasps> wow. Yeah, no, it's a basically just shelving in a small bedroom that we weren't gonna use as a bedroom. My step stool for higher up. Beautiful views. <laughs> oh, yeah, let me just shout these shoes out real quick. I didn't wear these in Paris, which is kind of a crime, but we just didn't go out because we were sleepy girls and they are actually so comfortable and so cute. I'm fully obsessed. I will link them in the description box, of course. I feel like since it's so hot in North Carolina, I literally just need to wear dresses, so. Whoa. This will be a fire fit, but I don't know where I'm gonna wear it. I have a bachelorette party in Savannah um, end of July, which also is going to be scorching. I literally just gonna slick my hair back the whole time. Okay, I got this skirt from Meshki, a dream. It's like a maxi skirt. That would be fire with the shoes. I just need a top and I don't know. I don't wanna just like wear white. I wish it came with a matching top. Mm. Hear me out. Ugh. Too pink and red for magenta, I feel like, right? Pretty fitting for North Carolina, right? Um, I got this from ASOS. I we went to Italy in 2019 and it was literally immediately sold out by the time I even went on the trip. Like I couldn't even link it then. And these are from Princess Polly. Oh, I also got some new pants from a local European. Those are in the other room. This basic crop under the suspenders. These are the local European pants. Just like big shoe cargo pants. I'm gonna try them on with this crop. BRB. Here they are. I feel like some people will hate them, but they're just exactly what I want. Some breezy parachute cargo pants. I feel like it'll help if I have like shoes and a purse and my hair done and stuff, but some parts of my day that I don't record are one, dealing with a city violation we got in the mail for our apartment building. Fortunately, John sorted that one out, called the inspector, and he said we are all good till 2023. And then I got our summer tax bill <laughs> in the mail, and it is double of what I was anticipating, property taxes, not even on top of the other ones. So I was hoping I, I got a flight deal to Italy in September with some friends. I was really hoping I could make that work, but I'm a little bummed because I think I need to be responsible. I absolutely need to be responsible. The economy how it is, and this economy, <sighs> next year. I still have a huge trip to South Africa planned at the end of February, and I think that's good enough time for me to feel comfortable going on a big trip again. Now that my silly, goofy mood is slowly fading away, I'm gonna finish packing. Haley just told me that she wants to take me to a workout class on Monday, a bar cardio class, so I'm gonna die because Besides walking, knocking doors and stuff, cardio hasn't really been my jam. Like intense cardio, I mean. Like I've been doing like walking and low intense cardio, but I'm not really trying to lose weight. So this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> and then she said pack a bathing suit cause you might go swimming cause it's super hot. But yeah, 
I'm just gonna jam to some Bonnie Bear radio on Spotify, finish packing, and then hopefully John will be home. And I think he's making enchiladas tonight. He has time, I don't know what time he'll be home. I'll show you that if he lets me. If I ever don't share like a recipe or something, it is not because like just gatekeeping. It's one, they're all John's recipes. So I don't know them and he's weird about them. He, he needs like every single one of you to ask for a recipe if he's gonna share it. And all of his recipes are like homemade, homemade, like down to every single sauce, like all the cheese is freshly grated. It's just like a whole, it's a whole production. I'm very grateful because it's all amazing, but they're not like quick and easy, healthy recipes. You know what I mean? So he said, if I put the ebook together, he will give me the recipes. So now I just need to figure out how to make an ebook. But it's it's eventually coming, I promise, and it's gonna be worth it because he's an amazing freaking cook. So done talking, gonna pack TTYL. Okay, all packed ready for my 2 p.m. flight. Leave here about 11. TSA pre-check, getting right through. That's where I'm gonna end this vlog because John's not making enchiladas tonight. He is at a meeting. So, probably ordering takeout. And that's my day in life today. Hope you enjoyed. Okay, bye.